All right guys, so it's early in the morning and we are going up this hill. We've done it many times before, testing the DJI Neo up the top of the mountain, doing some FPV stuff. And uh, at this point, a beautiful sunrise behind us. So I'm gonna do the challenge of one battery up and that's it. See what stuff we can get. It is light enough for the Neo to be in the air. So we're gonna do a couple of tracking shots on the way up and then get some cinematic stuff at the top and we'll see how it looks. Okay, for reference, I got all the way up, got some cool cinematic shots, started to do some more cinematic shots, and I got critically low battery. So to prove a point, I can get most of the way through what I wanted to do in one battery. And at this point, brand new battery, get a couple more things, and then I'm also gonna charge it a little bit because I wanna do some more stuff with it. I was ideally hoping to get all my cinematic shots done before the first, with the first battery, and that way I could just use the second battery for FPV stuff up here. So we'll have to play around a little bit, but I do have a charger and I can plug it in. I'm not sure how much juice I'll get in the time that I'm up here, but uh, there you go. So I'm at the top. We have the DJI Neo, we have the DJI Vada 2, we have the DJI Air 3. Lots of drones, lots of fun. So let's get uh, these shots that we want.
All right, guys, I'm a dad. It's Saturday morning. I got to go back and see the family. They're all waking up. So we will go back to the office and we'll talk a little bit more about our flights. Bye. And welcome back the DJI Neo. You just saw me doing a lot of different tracking. I used one battery for the most part up for a lot of the shots that I got and then it ran out and I had to go into number two battery. Then when I was done and I started playing with the uh, the other drones I had up there. So I plugged it into a power bank, actually got another full charge out of it. I've actually really enjoyed a lot of things, primarily being not having to fly it with a controller. So just hitting the buttons, selecting the mode that you want and then having it do its thing. I've enjoyed the size. I've enjoyed the fact that I can put it in a pocket and get it out when I want. I just carry it, whatever, but it's just so small and then gets, I think, some pretty cool shots. A lot of people talk about the image quality and I think, yes, if it was better image quality, better, but for the price and for what you get, very good value for your money. I've been pretty impressed with the quality and the images that we've got from it. I've flown it inside my house, which has just been fun playing with the kids and, and there's more footage than anything else of us just actually doing that. But when I took it outside, when I took it on the hike, reviewed the footage, I think it just looks great. Now I could compare it right here to the Aero 3 that I had up there. Obviously it's kind of an unfair comparison. I had my three times lens filming on that one. So yes, it's gonna look very different from what you're getting out of the the Neo and the price difference is huge, right? The the Air 3, Air 3S, you're in the plus thousand dollar, but closer to $1,500 mark, especially when you get in the fly more combo. So the fact that this is 200 and I've just invested in one more battery, can't complain. And if you're getting into drones for the first time, you can't complain. And the fact you can just whip out your phone and then start doing different controls that way, you can't complain. The tracking on this is just Great, you know, it's not gonna be the most stable cinematic footage, but just to get it out, press a couple of buttons and have it track you and get some cool shots, get some B-roll, I'm, I'm blown away. Now, am I very curious to see how, say the, I'm forgetting the name right now, but I'll put it right here, which is to see how their drones compare to someone like this. Now, they kind of started that whole deal of a, a drone that you don't need a controller for, you press a couple of buttons and it follows you. But this is DJI's version of it and just the fact that it can integrate with everything you have. So I'm obviously lucky the fact, not lucky, I've invested in the DJI Vada 2. It came with the goggles, it came with a controller, I invested in the FPV controller and I have a, a cell phone. So the fact that it works with all of them different peripherals is fantastic. When I was on top of the mountain doing that FPV, it didn't have much battery left. So it didn't let me do as much as I wanted and I definitely didn't do as much manual flying as I wanted. But I used this drone for quite a lot and the fact I could just put the goggles on, quickly change it from my Avada 2 over to the, the Neo and then fly FPV. Yes, I liked it. It's so small. It's so small. Again, just flying it around my backyard, flying it around with the kids. It's not that loud. The one downside, the storage, it's kind of limited. A few times I've hit the limit and then you got to mess around, not mess around, but you got to get the footage off. If they could only have just put in an SD card slot, um, like thank you for putting internal storage. I wish it a little bit more or giving us the option, like just putting it somewhere, like somewhere on the inside, just somewhere where the battery bay is. I know it adds to the weight, I know it adds to the cost, but generally speaking, I would rather have paid an extra 10, 20, 30, 40, $50, whatever it may have been, if they just could have included a, uh, a micro SD slot, that would have solved that problem at least. But beyond that, curious to see what to do with more. That's kind of the thing with the DJI. You buy something and you expect, okay, what else are they gonna come out? How else is this gonna be improved? And they've already done a really big significant update, improved the tracking speed, added a couple of things in there, but there's always just them extras that they can do. So again, just what will a Neo 2 look like? What will a Neo Pro look like? What will this device look like in the future? How will they implement all these different options? And yes, now you can get a Neo or the N3 goggles specifically for the Neo that are a lot more cheaper than the, the other ones. So if you don't have them, yes, you can go that route. Of course, I'm not concerned because guards, 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 whatever, it's, it's just not gonna do any damage to anybody. And as soon as thing hits something, it cuts its motors and drops. And I've seen people on YouTube give this thing a right beating, fly it into walls as fast as it could, and it just survives. There was one shot I wanted on top of the mountain, and if I hadn't tr crashed my Avada, which you may have seen in the other video, and I had all of the drones fully powered, 
I want to have this thing circling me along with that circling me and then the Avada would have been filming the whole thing. Or if anyone out there on the internet does this, I'd be very impressed. Getting like four or five of these and then doing a circle and having like a, a, a camera outside of this scenario and having like four or five or six of these just circling and basically sat there looking like your master and commander of these Neos and, and seeing how cool that would have looked. That would have been a cool shot. If I had a bunch of these, I would do that. I've seen some people um, where you've got two or three of these following you at the same time. And that was a cool video. I like that. that things like that make me laugh. So the Neo, it is just a very intriguing little proposition for a new flyer, for someone who doesn't know anything about drone flying. It just really slides right into the beginner slot. And what was it before that? It would have been the Air 3, a cheaper drone, like a Mini 3 Pro, Mini 4 Pro, that was the beginner. Then they released the 4K, that was then the cheaper version you could go for. This is even cheaper and kind of does more. Now, last thing for DJI, you're not listening to DJI, but I wish you would. The Avada 2, if you put some of the tracking features in the Avada 2, my gosh, would you have a product on your hand at that point and, and a line of products that could do so much. And I don't think you'd be robbing from the sales of this if the Avada 2 could do the same tracking this could. And it might take a little bit more, but even just like functionality using your phone, it's got closed propeller guards, it's fast, and that would be something. So DJI, please listen. Just the things that this can do, if the, if the big boy could do right here, you'd be onto a winning streak right there. But I know this is gonna be DJI's bestseller period just for the price, the holidays are coming up. I told my little story on YouTube of uh, how long it took me to get mine and what the expectations were with the whole embargo thing. So if you're on the fence, buy sooner than later because the holidays are coming around and it's gonna be very difficult to get your hands on these, I predict, I think, unless the customs thing all gets figured out sooner than later. But uh, the DJI Neo, have you got one? What do you think of it? Do you have any questions for me? I just think it's a fantastic little drone and I'm even winning around my wife as to uh, why I got a third drone. I know it's kind of out there, but she can kind of see the reason why a third drone, this specific drone is worth having in our life and in our video making stuff. So there you go. DJI Neo, awesome, great. Thank you guys, have a great day, bye.